Terry Crawford. How you doing, Your Honor? Good morning, sir. I'm so happy you're concerned about how I'm doing. Hey. I can just see it all now. Depending on how much money you have in your pocket. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Mm -mm. You came to court today knowing you have a fine and you didn't take any money with you? No, sir. Oh. You didn't go to the bank and take money out of your bank account? No bank account. You don't? Oh. I Who put all my money up under, the, up under the bed. Who do you live with? My girl. Oh. Did she give you some money this morning? Nah, she wants money. She takes money from me. Does she work? I pay her. Oh, you're supporting her. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, coming from your residence, there was loud music. Yes, sir. I've been there 15 years, though. Uh, no hold problem. On for a hold on for a minute. All right. Hold on for a minute. Police could hear the music from outside, and they issue, uh, issued you a $200 fine. So what do you want to tell me about this? Well, I've been there 15 years, no problem. We've got new neighbors that, that moved in, and they called the cops on me. They could have knocked on the door. I would have turned the music down. Yeah. Was it a radio, or was it a... Oh, it was a radio. Radio. You have the amplifiers? Yeah, yes, sir. You have amplifiers? Yeah. What time of day was it? Uh, I think it was about 11 o'clock. At night? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mr. Crawford, I have a summons before me that indicates that on April 27th that there was loud music coming from your residence. It does not state the time, so the summons is incomplete. My philosophy is that everyone should be entitled to the full benefit of the law, whether or not they're an experienced attorney or not. So if you came here with an attorney today, an attorney would make a motion to dismiss because the summons is incomplete. Now, you don't know that because you're not a lawyer, mm -mm. but there's no reason why you shouldn't have the benefit of having the law enforced on your behalf. But I know that, and it would be immoral if I find you when the summons is incomplete. So I'm going to dismiss it. Thank you, Your Honor. With the promise from you that keep the music down, right? Okay. What were you doing? Were you dancing with your girlfriend? What was going on? Yeah, I had a little disco ball in my house, and you know, I just turned the music up, when I didn't realize. Let me see your best move. Let me see your best move. Give me the Grape Street slide. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> Caroline, yes. you've been here so long, it's afternoon. The mic here. Excuse me, I got up at 5 a.m. and drove through three hours of Boston traffic because I believe in my innocence. <laughs> and I plead in um, not guilty. <laughs> By pleading not guilty, what you're saying is you want to come back and have a trial. No, okay, then I don't plead not guilty. Can you look at my summons? Yeah, <laughs> look at her summons. Based on what I believe you explained, uh, it's false. Caroline, I don't hear a word you say unless you speak. Based on mic. what I believe I heard you say earlier, it's a faulty summons? Really? Well, maybe I didn't understand. But Explain that to me. Uh, because the. Because. <laughs> um, um, the um, speed um, um, I was supposed to be driving at is not posted. Oh, you learned that. That's what I thought I heard. You were listening. I was listening. Very because intently. Because I've been here a long time. <laughs> to, to every single word I said. And you said, I wonder if any of this applies to me. Um, no, I still believed in my innocence before that. Well, tell me about it. Um, well, I came back <laughs> and went to the school and recreated the scene and took film at night. And I used to be a school teacher, and uh, it's very, very hard to see the speed limit um, at that location. I, there's, there's no speed limit in front of the school, so that's why I'm here, because I believe that there should be more signs. Well, the first thing you don't want to do is stop lecturing the judge. I'm sorry. On what should be done, because some judges get very upset. No, it's, you know? it's not your job to do that anyway. Oh, good. You, okay. It's not my job. No. <laughs> it's you. Be careful, he's a tough guy. Okay. He's on the SWAT team. First guy's out there with the big guns. No, I was just concerned about the kids. Oh, I see. Let me explain to you what's going on to everybody else. They, they just began this system, and the first wave of summonses that went out, there were a whole bunch of them that did not indicate 
the speed limit in the small box where the print is big. And they indicated the speed limit up at the top of the summons. You can't see it. You need a mag you literally need a magnifying glass to see it. So I have taken the position that the summons was inadequate for the city to prevail. There's such a disparity between the power of the individual and the power of the sovereign that they should get it right the first time. I take that. Thank you. Unless it's a crime of moral turpitude, then I think, and there are other factors involved. But these are, these are speeding tickets. I'm not condoning speeding, but I think everybody should afford all of their, be afforded all of their constitutional rights. Thank you. Even though, we, we don't hold, even though you come from Massachusetts. No, but I grew up in Rhode Island. Where? I grew up in Johnston. I went to St. Mary's Academy of the Visitation in Providence, and my father's here in a nursing home, and that's why I was here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then. <laughs> I'm a Rhode Islander. Okay. Based, I don't know if that matters. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not going to help you with this. I know, but I based know. on the summers, the summers was incomplete. Okay. So the matter is going to be dismissed. Thank you so much. Good luck. I won't do it again. <laughs> Everybody says that. No, I won't. Then they come back the following week. Thank you. To see more awesome cases like this, watch Court in Providence every weekday. What? You don't know what channel it's on. <laughs> Poor excuse. Go to courtinprovidence.com. Click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, and boom, you're in. Trust me, it's easy. If my grandson Charlie can do it, so can you. And hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge.